Hey, I'm Roman, founder and CEO of Earth AI. We are a high performance explorer for clean energy metals. Today I'll share the story um, of something really exciting that happened recently. We discovered a really, really high quality deposit of molybdenum uh, on one of our own projects. People in the industry call it shorthand moly, so we just, we just call it moly. It's easier to pronounce than molybdenum. So how did it happen? Um, our drill crew one day sent me a message saying that they saw something shining in the core. And they took some photos and they sent me a video. And, and it looked to me like molybdenum sulfide mineral. I posted on LinkedIn because it looks spectacular, but also I couldn't confirm what exactly it is. And we had no geologists that were free to go and verify it. So I decided to go and check it out. And I packed up and set off on a journey. I just arrived in Emmendale. I am heading to our drill site to check the core. We're gonna wash the car, get the PPE, and head over. This is our campsite. Drills must be still drilling, but it's lunchtime. We're gonna come back here for lunch soon and I'm gonna change. Super excited to see that core. I'm gonna go change. Standard reference samples. This is the instrument. Check it in. This is a box of standards from Aureus. That's what they look like. Run the 36 first and then the blank. It's basically put it like this on the ground. Um, it's analyzing element concentrations. So you can check with the reference sample. Standards done. Let's have a look at the core. To me, it looks like molybdenite. It has the flaky, flaky uh, habit, crystal habit. It has a bluish tint and it's very soft, so I can scratch it with my finger nail, which is great. And now we're gonna scan it. Let's look at the numbers we're getting. Woo! Oh yes. That is Mother Delight. That is definitely Mother Delight. That's so exciting. Woohoo! <laughs> this is amazing. So after all these years of R&D, we're nine months in to non-stop drilling and we find a great deposit. That's just great. Such a relief for all of us. You see me from these shots on site, you can, like I can't hide how excited I am for this to happen. This is truly molybdenum sulfide. Um, look at it. It's, it's gorgeous, beautiful. Confirmed. <laughs> now we need to send the core Analysis XRF is only two-dimensional. The core will give us three-dimensional weight-based analysis of assays, and we will know how much of it is here in the core. But this is so exciting! I'm very happy. I had fun looking at it. I saw a lot of veins. It's a it's a typical porphyry-style molybdenum deposit with quartz stockwork veins with molybdenite in different sort of direction, cutting through the the whole structure. Molybdenum, by the way, is a very, very cool metal. It's ironically really soft, but also um, when you add it to steel, it hardens steel. It's super conductive and soft, so it's used at sort of any conductive pads, 
It needs to slide well. It also used in like anything that's working really high temperature, high pressure. It helps like lubricate in extreme environments. It also used in space industry. It's using like rocket engine nozzles. I show you a piece. Damn, I have I have a piece. I have a little piece that flaked off, and you know, you can you can if something flaked off, you can't really put it back in the tray. You don't know where it came from. I don't know if you can see that. I got a macro lens I can put it together, but that's our molly. Okay, so we see in the core, it has molybdenum, sulfide in it. It's really good. I'm uh, incredibly excited about it. Uh, time to head back to Sydney. Our geologists Taylor and Annie were driving a core trailer to Armadale. We were flying back on the same flight, um, which got delayed. Well, it's a very happy day, so nothing can ruin my mood. Boarding at 8 p.m., three hours from now. Delayed, tried to catch another flight, couldn't, couldn't get tickets. So we're gonna go explore Armadale in the meantime. I like your bag. Damn. Thank you. So healthy. Cute. Seven forty-five. Sweden is losing, unfortunately, <laughs> and uh, we're heading back to the airport. Catch our flight. That was driving. I'm driving. What it means for us, big picture. Well, it proves our success rate. Our success rate is one out of eight compared to industry standard of one in 200. That's a 25x improvement, 25 times better success rate. Also proves our whole drilling hardware operating system. Our discovery cost us two million versus industry average 100 million. That's 50 times lower cost of discovery. It's only one drill hole, but it's really high grade. It's 0.3% molybdenum. When you look at what's currently been mined at the world's like, largest molybdenum mining operation, uh, Climax and Henderson, it's, it's 0.14 or 0.16%. So we have grades of twice more than that. That's pretty valuable, eh? That's pretty uh, exciting. There's a lot, a lot of R&D, like literally years to make the detection work, to make the hardware work, to make the operation work to sign, you know, do some business model innovation to sign these alliance deals that kind of are past to scalability in the future. But it's all happening now. It's great. It's our project. So actually, <laughs> the interesting thing about it, nobody had the license for this, for this land. So we just, we licensed it ourselves. We own 100% of it. We probably not going to drill anymore in the short term. We'll look for someone to farm into this project and take it further. Our company is focused on the discovery. And yeah, our job is done here. Discovery has been made. And on that note, I have to go and wash my car. Serena and Annie are taking it to the field, so I have to wash it so that you know, it's really clean. That's that. <laughs>